Okay, so I've decided to do a shorter video here, because I made a huge long one last time. Anyhow, when I was younger, I didn't quite like uh, super long videos, you know, I just didn't have the time. Ten minutes was good. You know, something like five to ten minutes was pretty good. So I decided that. So I don't I don't really want to do like a negative video. I want to do a positive one. I've done a bunch of, uh, I've done a bunch of complaining and stuff and other videos. And So this is going to be a brief one. You know, I won't talk super fast, but I'll get my points across. And I'll talk about you know, some simple stuff, some tanks to go for and starting out the game. I haven't played up to uh, tiers 8 and uh, 9 and 10, so I can't really recommend. I can't really have an opinion on those tanks. But I recommend the tanks that I, that I do have. There's some surprises in there, but uh, we'll get right to it. Okay, so T18 is a good tank. You can seal club in this tank really well. I, I, I have a limit myself. I can't just seal club to death. I can't seal club people to death. I just can't. It, uh, I got an armor nerf. For example, it's 51 millimeters of armor uh, in World of Tanks in the front there, and uh, so it's it's reduced, right? So you can't just uh, fight in a tank there, and uh, you can't just you know you can't just uh, have unpenetrable armor most of the time, right? It's uh, every tank at tier two can kill this pretty much. Um, I've had a Panzer II game. I took this guy. He wasn't yet fully upgraded. He had a shittier gun, a worse gun, I think. And um, have a really bad crew, and I killed three of these guys. I could say, yeah, I'm a good player, maybe, but you know, end of the day, I killed three of them in a in, a, in a upgrade, unupgraded Panzer II, you know, and that's that w I wasn't doing anything special in that game. So that's this isn't a, this isn't an overpowered tank. This, this is not an overpowered tank. I think one guy had a mastery symbol. I don't know. One it could just be mashing memories together. Anyway, but um, this is a good tank to get if you just want to have a fun game. You know, you're not morally, you know challenge, not challenge, but uh, opposed to just seal clubbing people over and over and over again, this one, right? But I have my limits, I can't do it. I gotta do something else. I gotta go and do some research uh, to plug away this guy or this guy, you know, something, right? To not just seal club every day. That's kind of, uh, you know, kind of sad. I haven't played this guy in actually three days, I think. But, um, yeah, so here's some tanks I'd also recommend here. The uh, KV-1. Surprise! I wouldn't recommend this tank. Don't keep if you're on the North American server or maybe the Europe servers because just starting up, there's not enough people to get uh, a lot of tier three and a lot of tier four games, and uh, we can get a lot of tier six and tier seven games. People like making uh, tier five, tier six, and tier seven. They like, they like driving these guys because they make the money. They make a lot of money. These guys tier eight, I guess not so much, but these guys make the uh, the money here. So they like to you know you can, you, you don't fight top tier. In the, in the KV-1 enough to justify keeping it. You're, you're always, you're, you're like a little Mac. You gotta, you gotta punch hard, you gotta, be agi you gotta be agile, you gotta quick dodge, you gotta duck and dive, and, you know, the KV-1 just doesn't quite do that enough, right? If you're gonna be playing at Tier 5, which, you know, I, I kind of recommend, it's pretty fun, you get to fight, I don't like fighting Tier 3s, I think it's a bit too cheap, but, you know, you got, this is okay, this is okay, minus the, uh, this guy and this guy, you nerf those guys, and you fix, anyway, wrong video for that, but, uh, don't really get the KV-1. It's too slow. It's uh, it's more frustrating than you think to drive. Um, yes, it doesn't. Like, you don't have problems penetrating anything, but you're just a little bit too slow at the end of the day, right? And if you have, uh, you know, oh, is it? I actually want the T-34 some some games in Tier 7. Then they want the KV-1. It has less hit points, yeah, but it's um, it's more agile. I can flank. You can flank in this tank, and uh, the guns aren't amazing. No, they're not amazing. I wouldn't have to say so, right? But um, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's, a competi it's more competitive, I think, than uh, this guy because he's just too slow. Anyway, enough of that tank. I recommend the Panzer IV, right? Even if it doesn't have the the, uh, the small term, like the cool little sniper thing, they should bring that back. You know, they should bring that back with the uh, L70. Uh, what was it? Panther gun? That was cool. It was like a sniping agile tank kind of. The where could go around. That was a fun tank. But this, what it has right here, it has the the derp gun, the turret. That's pretty good. And it has, it's really mobile. You get this engine here with that gun. It's good. You can go around. You can flank people. You can shoot them in the bum. You can shoot them in the side. It's good. People say, oh yeah, use medium tank to flank. I didn't like. I was like, oh whatever. You should do fight all the tanks face on when I was younger. You know. Playing World of Tanks, sir, but and now I get it. Now I really get it. This tank has the agility to just go around tanks and, and really and really just uh, blow them up and, and, and run away. This has enough speed to run away. So I like that tank and the M4 Sherman. Haven't quite played it yet, but I've seen people play it. Have a lot of fun. A lot of gun depression on this guy, right? So you can take this gun 
and have a really good time. You can put this gun on here too. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But this guns people have a hoot in this game. Hoot have a lot of fun with this gun because you just derp them in in the bomb on the side, whatever. You ambush tanks. It's good. It's a fun. It's a fun little tank to drive, right? Um, and you know that's a good tank. You know for tier five. Nothing wrong with M4 Sherman. That's one of the better ones. You see the you see the Panzer IV and the M4 Sherman. I'll put the, uh, the top best five tier uh, five tanks in the tier seven game a lot more on the KV1. KV1 is too slow and it's just like uh, it's just like a feeding tank for the tier sevens. It's not very good, but these guys have a better fighting chance. These guys. Also, if you're into if you're willing to spend the money, which I'd recommend if you want to spend money, is buy this guy. This guy's a good guy. He can you can put you can plug your uh, your t teen crew into him. And he can train that your your guys up so you can have a really good time every now and then. If you you know don't seal club all the time, I'd recommend. But so you can, um, but yeah, you can have a really good time with that tank. It has a good, uh, it's a really strong turret. You can bounce. You can actually I've seen people bounce tier uh, sevens in, with this turret, um, reliably. Um, you, you hull down this tank. It's like the it's like this tank over here, but at tier five for hull down. You know, not quite. It, this thing has a good gun. This thing has a good gun. Good turret. Good turret. You know, competitive, right? This thing's kind of mo this thing's more mobile than that guy. But anyway, this is a fun tank to drive. I'm playing a little bit. It's good. I recommend. I didn't drive it very good, when I was, but now I see how you're supposed to drive it. You're supposed to hide that hull. Don't get that hull shot. If you're a, if you're a big whale, like you spend a lot of money, you know, go buy this tank. I'd say over the Lion tank, the uh, the German Lion tank here. It's not very good. It's um it's okay. It's got a good snipey gun, but this is all about close range battles usually, right? Uh, you know, and it also doesn't have the armor buff in World of Tanks, you know, not armor's not everything, but, you know, for bang for money, this guy, I'd go for this guy, he's, he's, he's cool, he's a cool tank, he's a, he's the good one, I haven't played it yet, but I've heard a lot about it, yeah, I get this tank, the lion's kind of, you know, but this tank, he's pretty good, anyway, so, back to the tanks again, right, so, tier 6, you know, nothing too, too, there's no Hellcat, right, there's nothing too, too fancy, here, this is, you know, this is a good agile tank and stuff, right? Um, what was it, uh, I don't, don't get the, the don't get these tanks. If, you can keep them, I guess, but they hurt the game, they really do. So, yeah, this is worse than the, these tanks are worse than the T-18, I think. Because the T-18, at least if you're a tier 1 tank, you can, you can do, you can kill half of it, maybe? No, that's sort of exaggeration. No, anyway, in tier 2, your tanks can kill them, maybe T-18, right? And um, but these tanks they they hurt the game. They they this guy kills tier four tanks and tier five tanks, you know, and he just goes around the corner and shoots people to death, right? Just boom, he hides away, goes around, boom, right? Not 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 too clever gameplay for this guy, but he can really really he's really good. So if you like overpowered tanks, get this one. If you like tanks that really break the game and just ruin everything for everyone else, get this one. I won't give a proper review for that one because I don't I'm not gonna get it. It's just it's just a dumb tank. They need to nerf it. Anyway, the wrong video for that. Tier 7s, I uh, haven't quite really, uh, you know, I've only fought against them, right? But the ones I like to fight against, weird enough. KV2, that's that's pretty good. You, you know, it's not... This guy's, this guy's better than that guy power-wise, but this guy, he's a good balance tank. He's a... You, you can make him shoot really fast, and he's a derp gun. He's just boom, 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 boom. He's crazy. You know, if you're gonna hit, you're gonna die, right? But he's an awkward tank to use, kind of. You know, he's not very fast sometimes, and... But he is fun. He over he he is he's a fun tank. And he's got true RNG. He's not like rigged like a world of tanks. Whatever. You can look in the big giant video I made about that. No, you know, he's not rigged. He's a, he he'll he'll always do what he what he does every single match, and he's not gonna hold it back. That's pretty fun. And um, all he's got his he this guy can, I've seen uh, I've seen some good players play this tank, right? Um, that's it for the, that guy. Da -da 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 -da. Tiger tank, don't get this guy. Uh, get this guy. He gets an extra armor and stuff like that, right? You, you can buy extra armor. You spend 30, 15 bucks, you can get these extra uh, armor upgrades and stuff. And I'll pay to win. I know, I know. But he's actually got better soft stats than this guy too. So if you want like a German tank, let's say a tiger tank is pretty good. Panther, you know, I've actually killed a bunch of panthers before in my KV1. Uh, my, you know, I, I'm not very afraid of the panther tanks. I really, I'm really not. Um, I take my KV1 slow as it is. I see the uh, the turret here. Of, of this uh, panther tank, it's a Russian tree. I just, I just shoot him. Just, imagine this is a small term, right? Uh, I shoot him. So don't even, don't get this tank. This guy's a joke tank. He's a tier five tank and a tier six clothing. I, I, you know, I can kill this guy in a tier four tank. He's just, he's dumb. Um, yeah. So the flat panzer, I don't know. He's, 
Yeah, Brumbar is pretty fun. Get this tank. If you like tank destroyers, um, I recommend this line. This line looks fun. is really, really fun. This guy in a world of tanks makes a ton of money too, eh? So if the if the numbers are right, this guy's gonna make tons and tons of money for you. So you'll get a fun tank at tier six. This guy's fun to fight. You go ram him with your KV one or your other tank with enough thing. You, you flip him over and you can shoot him and he can blow you up. And so it's a big knife fight. It's really really fun. Um, well, is it? Uh, and you can fight him too and you can blow up other tanks. And it's not overpowered. You can say it's overpowered, but it, it's fun. It's really fun. It's kind of derpy and. Um, same thing with these guys. These guys are like uh, T-18s at uh, the higher tier, right? Same thing with this guy. He's like a T-18. These guys are a top tier T-18s. It's pretty fun. These guys are just, you know, they're reliable tanks. The big, big boom boom guns. Um, yeah, so I'd recommend this line. That one looks, this, this line looks really fun. People say, oh, I'm struggling with this tank, but you, you get to this tank, people love this tank. Just love it to death. Because it, it can, it can one shot, um, tier 10s and stuff, it's at least like a T-18, but at higher tiers, it's, you can't really go wrong, I think. Maybe it's overpowered, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to go up here and give you the scoop, but I haven't quite got it yet. This is a neat tank, too. This is like that uh, Clan Wars tank. I'm a bit devolving here, right? But, you know, you can look at their, here. Here's a, here's a unique tank. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And these guys here, and maybe the Leopard one. We already got that in the game. Um, World of Tanks there. And uh, that's a unique tank. These are unique tanks. This is the Novelty Branch. Uh, over here, of uh, this is a turreted tank, by the way, turreted tank destroyer, and um, yeah, so you get prototype, non-prototype. Um, this guy, he doesn't actually have a turret uh, historically; doesn't have a turret, so he doesn't have one there. This guy, people would drive around with a derp gun with this. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm just rambling on here. Anyway, that's the video. Go for the um, M4 Sherman. That guy's not no complaints about this guy or this guy. These guys are strong guys too. Go for this guy or this guy, or, or these guys. Um, Go for uh, this guy. Don't get that guy. Um, Panther's not overly awesome. He's okay. But I'd go for this guy. The, the M4 Sherman. Um, and these guys here. The T40 and the M10. And if you're on the Russian line. The KV-1's good. You need more players. But this is really fun in arcade mode. Just It's a good sniper tank. You take this gun. You shoot people. You have a bad game. Like I mean, you, you, get, you die the first match. Like, you, know, you die early in the game. You can uh, respawn and it's good. I like it. And you can just see snipe. You run away. You snipe. It's huge. It's not overpowered. It's like a bus, right? It's kind of awkward to use this gun. And uh, it's like a big bus. It's good. It's a good balance. I like it. It's a good tank if you have arcade mode. Um, get that. Uh, don't just don't keep these tanks. They're just they they really hurt. You make a lot of money and stuff. Yeah, but it hurts the game. Um, KV2. I'd go with that. Um, it's a really average tank. I, I don't fear these guys. A good player, can, yeah, but I've taken a, a, a master player out with a KV-1, one of these guys. No, I'm not bragging here, I'm just saying it's not a very powerful tank. Um, yeah, so it, uh, yeah, so it's, um, it's all good. Full health, too, by the way. Anyway, that's the review. Um, also, I should probably mention the, uh, this guy. He's probably good, but he doesn't see tier 2, so he's, uh, he's probably, he's always going to be fighting tier 5. So maybe he's a good tank, but yeah. Hetzer's a good tank, too. Hetzer for life. You know, or uh, you know, thug life there, but uh, stug life. Anyway, but he's he's a uh, Hetzer's a good tank. So Hetzer, Panzer IV, um, KV1 if you really want it. This guy's fun in arcade. KV2 for days. Um, da -da -da -da. This guy, if you want, uh, it's a, it's eh, okay. But um, what I'd really want to go for, this is a really good tank too. If you're if you're a whale by. Um, Buy, you know, so it's, uh, buy this tank, and this. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're cheap, buy this tank. If you're not, buy this tank. Um, the E, the E25, oh, the E10 is really fun, and um, yeah, those are the tanks there. Just the, the, the basically the tier five mediums, minus the uh, T34, which doesn't have a derp gun. Um, avoid the KV1 at tier five because it's too slow. Uh, oddly enough, weird. But uh, yeah, and uh, KV KV2 is fun, and and this guy's fun, and the uh, E25 and or the E10, that's good. Yeah, that's that's my review of the uh, tanks. It's a good balanced game. He's got, game box. All he's got to do is just take care of the KV1s and the IS tank and the golden, and maybe plus one miles on match rank, and it'd be great. Great game, great game. Anyway, we're we're gonna do this. Let's stop. Yeah, what back?